My name is Michael Gould, and I was a university GIS professor for nearly 20 years before I came to Esri and began leading the Education Industry Solutions Group. Our group's been fortunate over the years to have helped thousands of educators and students to be successful with GIS. If you think back a few years, many years in some cases, where you first encountered GIS, in many cases it was at the university. But I'm not here to talk about GIS in the classroom. We're here to talk about business today. So let me talk a little bit about the business of education. To do that, I'd like to, to tell a story. In fact, along the way, I'll show you how to use this multifunctional tool. This is a story about 900 unknown cities that you're perhaps not familiar with, but you'll find out why they're important. These 900 cities could be utilizing GIS technology for typical city GIS applications or projects, things such as improving facilities, connecting citizens, and managing safety. But you'll notice I said could be utilizing GIS technology. Curiously, many of these 900 unknown cities have GIS technology, but they are currently not applying the technology for some of these key or critical GIS projects. So you may be asking, where are these unknown cities? Give me a clue, Mike. Well, we've seen a few dot maps today. Here's another one. These cities are everywhere. They're in your backyard. They've been hiding in plain sight. In fact, here we're just looking at a small subset. We're looking at some of the 900 unknown cities in North America. Actually, there are other regions around the world where this collection of cities is growing much faster, places like India, China, and Brazil. But as you've heard a few people say today, this is not merely a dot map. In my case, what we're looking at is what? It's a treasure map. So you're going to want to grab this tool. You're going to want to get one of these. And you're going to, you're going to, you're going to want to go here. You're going to want to start digging. Because there's some treasure there. These are GIS projects that's waiting to happen. You notice this tool, this multifunctional tool, can also be a low-tech pointing device. In fact, another thing it's good at is keeping people awake if you think they're not paying attention. And it's got a radius of about six feet. But I don't recommend that. So, um, so you, you want to be digging here in these cities. Um, some of you may have already figured out, since I'm the education guy, that the cities I'm talking about are universities. And I think it shouldn't be too much of a stretch for you to imagine universities being very much like small cities in many respects. It turns out that we've got 900 universities around the world that have signed ESRI campus site licenses, the equivalent of an educational ELA. This means that these universities all have unlimited use of the software on campus. However, in many cases, they're not utilizing this software for the typical types of GIS projects that I mentioned, such as safety, security, facilities management. So this opens up some interesting opportunities for some of the people here in the audience. Some of you may be already thinking, great, I think we've got a solution we can apply to universities. Others of you may be thinking, mm, I guess we're left out. We don't offer an educational solution. Well, I recommend that you consider taking the solutions you've created for cities, especially small cities, and you apply them to the case of the university campus. Now, once you've accepted the premise that the campus is similar to a, to a small city, you may consider other campus-like entities such as military bases, amusement parks, or port complexes, large installations that share, again, many characteristics to small cities. So I hope in my short story here, I've been able to convince you that you need to start digging. You need to grab one of these, you need to start digging for a gold mine of campus GIS projects. GIS projects on campuses which are very similar to those which be, would be implemented in small cities. Our education team is here to lend a hand or a shovel. <laughs>